Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Great Northwest Weaponry. This is Thomas, and today we are taking a look at the Magnum Research Desert Eagle in 50 Action Express. Uh, we're being able to do this video courtesy of my cousin Jack, who is behind the camera today. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> this thing is a beast. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody who's ever, uh, you know, seen a gun in their life is familiar with the Desert Eagle. These are featured in over 500 movies, TV shows, and video games. It's Hollywood's favorite gun. It is utterly monstrous and ridiculous to the extreme. It uh, features a seven-round mag. Um... Uh, we don't have a full 21 shot, so we'll be doing a short mag here in the middle. But these were developed in 1982, originally chambered in 357 Magnum. They also come in 44 Magnum, and then the beastly 50 AE, which is the largest centerfire uh, cartridge for a semi-automatic pistol available. There, there's nothing bigger for, for a slide-operated some automatic pistol. And we'll talk more about the operation of this when we go to the tabletop segment a little later, uh, when we do the disassembly at the end of the video, but uh, these things are just beastly. <laughs> I'm gonna load up a five here and just look at this beefcake of a bullet. This is just wicked, beyond wicked. And like I say, these seven round mags are kind of tough to load, but it's like loading them is you know, your standard loading practice. Uh, so we've just got this one loaded to five. Make sure it's firmly seated. This one uh, has a little bit of problems sometimes going fully into battery. So you may have seen me at the beginning reach up and push forward on the slide a little bit. Safety is on the side here. Operation is very similar to a, like a Beretta M9 or a Walther P38. Uh, I actually, if I'm not mistaken, the design of this uh, aside from the gas blowback operation, but the, the general design of this is directly traced back to the Walther P38 and the Walther P1. So let's go ahead and take this uh, five shots here. And I apparently only loaded four because I can't count. We've discussed how bad my math is. <laughs> you can see the locking system on this is funny. It's actually closer to uh, how an AR-15 locks up than it is to how uh, any other pistol you can probably think of does. <laughs> it's, it's very bizarre. And this slide is just, just beastly. These things weigh four and a half pounds. I believe that's unloaded. They weigh four and a half pounds. And they're like 11 inches long from... Uh, I mean, I don't know, tail to stern. <laughs> it's just a beast. It's a lot of fun. I can go and load up seven more because I am uh, just enjoying myself far too much here. Now, these were manufactured by a number of companies at different points in time. Uh, IMI, Israel Military Industries, was the original. Uh, later, the contracts went to Magnum Research, also uh, manufactured by Seiko Defense, and... Uh, in current times, you'll see them manufactured by IWI, Israel Weapon Industries, and um, um, oh, Magnum Research, which is what we've got here. Magnum Research is going to be most of them that you see in the U.S. You'll see them in a variety of different colors. It's just you want the most extra gun that's ever been made. Like, this is as extra as it gets. Um, generally, not to be messed with if you see a dude packing around a 50 caliber pistol. And this thing, I don't know if you can tell how much this is jerking me around. Like, I, I know how to shoot guns, guys, but this thing has some concussion like I've never felt in anything else before. It, you feel it pulse in your head every time you shoot. So, anyway, let's go ahead and go through this last magazine. clears up the sinuses like it literally changes the air pressure as you're firing it it's just monstrous I actually had a piece of brass ping off the top of my head after uh, like the fifth or sixth shot i'm i'm just having fun guys this is a good time uh like i say this is not mine but uh, man i kind of wish it was this thing is just beefy so beefy we've got two rounds left let's just go ahead and shoot them <laughs> you know, one 
and two. All right, this thing's probably gonna give me a migraine by the end of the day. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. This is this is a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and uh, go in and take a look at how to disassemble this beast. It's a little different. Deagle disassembly is pretty easy. So what you're gonna do is uh, just leave the magazine in for this first part and rack it back. It should lock open. Make sure you're empty, of course. And now you've got a button right here and a lever right here. So push in on this button and rotate that lever. Now. When you slide it back forward, your barrel should be free. You can see it has to line up this part with these notches in order for it to come out. So if it's back here, you can't just pull it straight up. And if you slide it too far forward, it will stick. So there's your barrel. Now drop your magazine and slide the slide and recoil springs right off. Got little, uh, I believe this is the gas lock. It just goes in this little hole here. And you'll see on the recoil springs, there's a little notch here that needs to fit into that spot when you put it back on. So to put it back together, just make sure that that's lined up properly. Put your slide back on. Make sure that, that these stay inside the track. You don't want them folding onto the outside or you'll have some uh, some minor annoyance then you can just pull it back a little bit and put the mag back in to keep it from flying away on you now take your barrel put it back into place and make sure that it seats over the slides here now you can just kind of hold that all in place and eh, pull back your slide so that it locks again again depress this button right here and Flip your lock back into place. Now should be ready to fire. Not particularly hard, a little different than, uh, than most modern guns, but overall fairly simple. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Desert Eagle or Deagle by Magnum Research. It's having a bit of a, uh, a moment. I couldn't really think of the name Magnum Research, so I had to look at the gun because, you know, I do that sometimes. <laughs> Hope you all have enjoyed this video. It's a really fun gun. Thank you again to my friend and cousin Jack for letting us use this, this monster for a video here. And I will see you next time on Great Northwest Weaponry.